This is the first type of neuron I'd like to talk about, and it is a unipolar neuron. The reason why we call it a unipolar neuron is because we always want to start with the cell body, and we see how many processes come off of that, and we only have one, therefore we call this a unipolar neuron. Um, this term unipolar refers to its structural classification. So remember, form follows function. Form describes the anatomy, the physical appearance. So the structural classification of a neuron that looks like this is unipolar, one pole, if you want to think of it like that. Unipolar neurons serve as the sensory or afferent or what I like to emphasize, afferent, because we have an efferent, as you'll see. So I like to say afferent, so that you get the correct term here. Um, this is the job that this neuron has in the body, meaning that if it's sensory, which is its functional class, this neuron is responsible for bringing sensory information to the central nervous system. Let's review a little bit of the anatomy here so that we're much more comfortable with this. So here again, we have the cell body. We have that one process coming off of the cell body. So that's why it's unipolar. This part right here is the axon. And this end over here are the dendrites. So remember that when we're talking about how signals travel across neurons, we're gonna have a, a direction the, the dendrites are the receptive end of the neuron. So that's why these are colored purple right here, and I've reminded you this is the receptive end. That signal will travel along the axon, and the axon is the end that is responsible for generating and conducting those action potentials that release neurotransmitters. When you're looking at these neurons, um, and we're asking you questions about the structural versus the functional class, I always want you guys to think about, hey, structure refers to what it physically looks like. So remind yourself, okay, a unipolar neuron has one process coming off of that cell body. So the structural classification of this neuron is unipolar. But what do unipolar neurons do? What is their function? they transmit sensory information, um, or they are along the afferent pathway. We're gonna contrast that with a multipolar neuron. Multipolar neurons are the most common neurons we have in the body. And in fact, when you think of a neuron, you're probably thinking of something that resembles this shape. Um, multipolar, multiple poles, if you wanna think of it like that, means we have multiple processes coming off of that cell body. So you always wanna start with the soma or the cell body, see how many things are coming off of it, and that tells you the structural name. Off of that cell body will have a long axon. Again, the dendrites, this is where the uh, neuron will receive signals, and then it will get transmitted along the axon and then we will generate and conduct action potentials at this end right here. So what do multipolar neurons do? Well, they are all of the motor neurons we have in the body, meaning all of the neurons that are responsible for transmitting uh, mechanical instructions look like this. That's what motor refers to. We also call that um, efferent, or what I like to say is efferent. Again, I like to mispronounce the first letter on purpose because afferent and efferent sound very similar. You'll hear me use this um, mispronunciation again when we're looking at um, a reflex, but motor slash efferent or efferent. We also see that um, multipolar neurons also make up the shape of most interneurons or association neurons. This is the function. Remember that interneurons lie completely within the central nervous system. And then again, let's just remind ourselves of the difference between the terminology here. Both of these terms describe this neuron right here, but it depends on what we're looking at. So if we were to ask for the stretch, structural classification, think structure reminds us of what it physically looks like. There are multiple 
processes coming off of that. So the structural classification of this neuron is multipolar. But if we're asking about the functional classification, meaning what does a neuron that looks like this do? That would be, it's either a motor neuron or an interneuron. We could also call this the efferent or association neuron. The same would be true for this neuron right here. If we wanted to know the functional class, you could call it the sensory or the afferent neuron. All right, I hope these tips helped you learn the structural and functional differences um, between two of the neurons we have to know. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any other memory tricks, I'd love to hear that. So happy studying, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit like and subscribe.